It's early Friday morning. I'm currently fighting with my video editor. This is the fourth time I've had to work on this video. That's today's vlog that you're watching yesterday. The one titled, I guess you can't fix stupid. Yup, taking me forever to do. And I want to go to bed, but I want to get it done before I call her a night. And welcome to my vlog. <laughs> We still got a lot of time left on the render. She's taking forever for some reason, so we'll let her go and go from there. I'm going outside for a cigarette, so. Burning candles both ends. Yep, it's the way of my life. Well, I decided to come out to the garage to have a cigarette and quite possibly shit my pants while I wait for that uh, footage to render. Starting to look like Wolfman Jack over here, eh? Yep, starting to look like Wolfman Jack. Just watched Bloke's video, and uh, whereas Bobby had a question. His question, actually he had two questions. First question was, why is there a 12 pack of JR55 sitting beside your desk up in your editing room? Well, see I'm lazy. And that case has actually been sitting there for like, frig, it's been sitting there for a while. Like I told you guys I haven't had a beer. Now this weekend if I don't have a beer, like if I don't buy a case or anything, it's been six weekends in a row where I haven't bought beer. And I'm probably not gonna buy beer. I just haven't been feeling it lately. But that case has been sitting there for like eight weeks. I just haven't had the time or, you know, keep forgetting to grab it when I'm coming downstairs and put it with the rest of the empties. So that's why that's there. Now as for the shag carpeting, that's been there since the house was built. And I'm petrified to lift it to see what the hell I'm gonna find underneath. So I decided just to leave it there. Frag it. Seeing how that shag carpeting covers like the old section of the house, I can just imagine what the hell's underneath it. So, I leave it there, and I don't have to look at potential problems and money spending to repair issues <laughs> that I'll uncover when I remove the carpet. Fuck, for all I know, that carpet's holding the house up. So remember how I said in yesterday's vlog I was going to edit in Magics? So I started editing Magics, got the vlog all rendered up, got it all set up, it looked freaking great, hit the render button, she starts rendering, gets to like 8 seconds left and skabadoosh, crashes, shits the bed, I'm like, no, oh, reboot the computer, fire up Magics again, reload up the file, hit render, let it go through, 18 minutes later, 2 seconds left, crash, like, for fuck sakes, alright, frig it. I open it up in Sony Vegas, re-edit the vlog, have to chop everything up and get it all set up and everything and put it all together and do the rolling credits and all the bullshit and hit render, get it almost done and realize, fuck, forgot to de-interlace the footage, son of a bitch, because if you don't de-interlace the footage, you get these like lines, every second line on your monitor when I turn the camera like this, will look all choppified and it'll look like I went through a cheese grater so I had to de-interlace the video. Son of a bitch. And now I'm rendering for the fourth friggin time tonight. Same damn footage. Ugh. So here's hoping that this works. I can grab the vlog, pitch it up to YouTube's, lay down for a couple hours, get up, rinse and repeat. Fuck me, I'm tired. Holy shit. But it's the name of the game. YouTube to me is like a game. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's gonna boosh. But anyway, as I was saying, YouTube to me is like a game. That's, it's like, it's like my MMO. The girlfriend has her World of Warcraft. I have my YouTube. That's, that's my game. And my score, I guess you can say, is my view count. That's my score. Higher the higher the view count gets, the better the score. That's the way I play. And the more likes I get, well, those are like coins in Super Mario. You know, you get so many likes and you get a one up. Even though I've never collected a one up yet, but just freaking go with it. That'd be awesome if I could get a one up because I think a one up would be pretty freaking cool. And I'd like to get that. And you know, it'd be awesome to get like a fire flower in Super Mario and shoot fireballs out of my hands. But um... sorry, got off topic. And seeing how the new YouTube is pretty much like a friggin' video game, like you unlock features as you grow. You know, you get like a thousand views, and they give you the right to monetize your videos. And then when you get ten thousand views, they give you or five thousand views, they give you the right to schedule your videos. And then ten thousand views, they give you thumbnail capabilities. And as you grow, you get more, 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 more shit. Yeah, you know, it's pretty weird. They turned it into a video game, so frig, why not say, what are you doing? I'm playing on YouTube, because that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm playing on YouTube. It's a game. Forget it. And joining a network, people, 
It's like having motherfucking Game Genie. Just unlocks everything for you. Thumbnails, you get it. Branding kit, you get it. The ability to do live shows, you can get it, but you have to apply for it. But you know, that's fine, because not everybody wants to do live shows on YouTube. Better off to do them on Twitch TV and stuff like that, because it's just a lot cleaner and a lot easier, and Twitch TV has a way better free and streaming capabilities and, you know, all that fun stuff. And Sorry, I'm getting off topic again. I do that. So yeah, you know, just gotta hammer through it and freaking get the views, and then you get all the cool little toys, or if you get enough views, you can apply to join Red Light Broadcasting. Yeah, people, when I put out that, uh, that video a while back saying uh, apply for Red Light Broadcasting, if you're not getting the views, but you want to get noticed and you want to get noticed more, you can go to the link I'm going to put in the description and apply for a directorship. And what that'll do is that'll give you the ability to become a director on Red Light Broadcasting and you can post to the hub channels. Like if you're a gamer, uh, you play games that are non-first person shooters like Batman Arkham Asylum, Grand Theft Auto, um, friggin' Minecraft, I'm trying to think of other games, I can't right now. Then you can post on Red Light Broadcasting Central Channel. And if you play games that are first person shooters like Call of Duty, uh, Battlefield 3, freaking Counter-Strike Source, can't think of any other first person shooters, just go with it. Then you get the post on Red Light Broadcasting Recon, Recon people. So that's always good because a lot of people view that channel and if they like the way you do your videos, they're probably going to jump over to your channel and give you a good old subby sub and watch your content as well as watch the director content on Red Light Broadcasting. So that's kind of cool. So if you want to become a director, just bounce on over there and then once your channel grows enough, bam, yeah, they'll pick you up as a partner in Red Light Broadcasting. No questions asked. But it's a great way to grow and a great, great way to get noticed on YouTube. For sure. Anyway, I'm hoping to frig that that stupid video is done editing and rendering. Because if it's not, I'm probably just going to post an iPad video saying, guys, shit's fucked and uh, I'm going to bed. So <laughs> you know how it is. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the a.m., probably the p.m. the way shit's going, because I need to sleep. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Well, people, heard what I said I'd be logging in in the p.m.? It's 1 p.m. Actually, I was up at uh, noon, but I uh, had a shower and all that jazz, and now here I am. Hey. On that note, I think we're going to do Flyer Day today, because the flyers finally came in. At first, I was like, yeah, people, we aren't going to do Flyer Day, but... They did come in, so frig it. Might as well do some flyer day, but first, I need to get a cigarette into me. Actually, first, I need to make sure my hair's dry. So I walk out there right now, it's minus 14. If I walk out there with wet hair, I'm gonna have hair sickles. Hair sickles. Hair sickles, hair sickles, hair sickles. Yep, friggin' hair sickles. So, frig yeah. Figure, you know what? While I go for a smoke, I'm gonna throw some laundry on because I'm wearing my last vlog in life shirt. Yep, last shirt. <laughs> Good times. Then we'll go outside, have a cigarette, and then we'll sort through these flyers and get some flyer day going. Freaking right, we will! Yeah! That was the most annoying sound ever. <laughs> That's pretty annoying. Alright, let's go. Alrighty, people. Well, we got coffee. Yes. I like my milk and I like my sugar in my coffee. That's why it doesn't look like coffee. It looks kind of beige. And I thought we weren't going to have flyers, but then I realized the girlfriend had them on her desk because she was looking through all the tech stuff. So, right on. So without further ado, it's time for... Flyer Day, Flyer Day. Gotta look at sales on Flyer Day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer Day, Flyer Day. Gotta look at sales on Flyer Day. See what kind of deals they have in the paper. Flyer Day, Flyer Day, yeah. Flyer Day, Flyer Day, yeah. All the sales, all the sales. So much sales, love the sales. Don't lie to me, you people love that freaking song. You love it so much you want an MP3 of it. Come on, let's go. Alrighty, well, we're gonna start off with staples. That was easy. Unwrap tech. Well, they're advertising the iPad mini here for $329, $429 for the 32 gig, son of a bitch. Eh, not bad. My iPad here, still the same price that I paid for it. Right on. Oh, and they got the Galaxy Note here for the Galaxy Note, what's it called? 10.1 for $499. Got some pretty good specs, 32 gig storage, 5 megapixel rear camera, Android OS 4.0, not bad, not bad. Uh, the Windows 8 Pro tablet from Acer, the W510 with the Intel Atom 2760, not freaking bad, 10.1 inch screen, 2 gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of storage, 8 megapixel rear firing camera, 
Not too bad. That's kind of cool. It's a DJ turntable for your iPad. Nifty. Yeah, pretty much the same as this camera I'm using now, except for it's a Sony and it doesn't have a light. Honestly, I don't see that feature of having a projector on the front being really worth it. The camera I was thinking about getting when my ELPH 300 shit the bed. Oh, if I only knew for sure if these were fast. Anybody can mark anything on an SD card nowadays. Sons of bitches. This is something you're going to see a lot coming up on laptops. Is the touch screen. Yup. That's a nice Ultrabook. Freaking Asus i5. So yeah, I want something like that. But not for that price. Anybody looking for a mic out there? The Blue O Snowball. On sale right now. 55 bucks. It's a real good mic for doing voiceovers. Nice cordless headset here. Yeah, I kind of like that. Kind of like that indeed. That's the headset that uh, Logie has, the H800. All wireless and shit. Frig yeah. Oh, they got K cups here. Any yummy flavors? They got a bunch of awesome flavors, but I'm not seeing the one I want. I'm not seeing the Christmas deal. Son of a bitch. Oh, I thought these were the mice, but they're RC, uh, our RC cars and helicopters for 25 bucks 249 bucks for an xbox 4 gig console with the connect system and you get dance central 3 halo 4 oh you gotta buy those games never mind you don't get those games with it freak sakes holy shit like i want my controller to be glow in the dark the i want that sale the top gifts holiday wishes from the source Holy shit, those are nice headphones. They look huge. You know, I actually don't want that. I don't want the Wii U. Yeah, and they got their Ultra Book here, the Acer for freaking $7.99. There's the specs. And I like how they advertise that this mouse, which I have at work, tracking on almost any surface except for my work desk. Uh, shouldn't you be advertising the GoPro Hero 3? I will admit, I actually do want one of these AR drones, but I'm afraid it'd be one of those things where I'd fly it for like a couple days and then get bored of it and would just sit there and fester. Wish these speakers were around when I was buying speakers, I would have bought them. Okay, here's the source's real flyer. Let's go. That is a nice looking speaker by Jabra. I don't know how well it sounds because the only one I've heard was the Jawbone, but it's probably up there with it. Oh, the Wow Wii. The Wow Wii. I wonder if this thing has a mic. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of want to replace my case with one of those later on. Just so I can have the keyboard because I do a lot of typing on my iPad. Yep. The D Link Wi Fi camera. That's not bad. For 18 for 90 bucks, you get the camera and it's ready in three easy steps. What? Open package, plug in, hook up to router. Right on. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that brand. I really don't. Oh, so the Wii U still uses the Wii remote. That's interesting. Does it have Wii U? No, it just says Wii on it. Oh. Okay, well, maybe this thing's backwards compatible with the Wii. That's alright. Xbox controllers? Wii U controllers! Holy shit, do they ever have the same sort of style to an Xbox controller? Only difference is a little bit of button layout. Yep, I need that for at work. When the boss is around, I can just lock onto him and just start firing the missiles. Oh, new bright RC cars. Heard this name from Capus actually. Right on. Alrighty, now moving on to Future Shop. Super mega uber cheap laptop here for $399. Not a bad rig for an entry level rig. For sure. Looking for a Wii U? Nope. Nope. That's kind of cool. Turns any TV into a smart TV. Too bad it's running Android 2.3. What the shit's up with that? Still think that's pretty cool. Friggin' laser tag. Awesome. 
Well, there's the camera that Future Shop gave me to replace the old TM80. And here I thought they were going to give me this guy, which is the 100. But nope, they gave me this guy, which is the 500. Friggin' sweet. God, does that camera ever look neat and blue. That could be green, though. GoPro Hero 3. Nice. Well, for the love of cigarettes, now JVC's getting involved in it. Frig off, JVC. One of these days, I want to put an aftermarket stereo in my car, and whatever stereo I put in, I want it to have iPod controls and USB hookups so I can listen to music without needing to burn discs. The world's slowest pen drive. However, 40 bucks for 64 gigs. That'd be alright. I want to buy the knockoff version of this fan to replace the fan that I have in my in this office because that fan that I have in this office is shot and this fan would be awesome. But I want to buy the knockoff version. That's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Oh, I'm going to need one of these tomorrow. No, I'm just going to freaking dry razor it. It's not a bad little rig. Nope, not at all. Alrighty people, and that's pretty much all we got for Flyer Day, so hopefully you enjoyed that. And um, I'm just going to carry on with the day today. Rag it. Alrighty people, well I'm already on coffee number dose. Number two. Freaking rocking that pretty hard. Just freaking rendering up some, some footage. Remember how I said yesterday that I played Counter-Strike with the boys last night? Well, I fraps it for the gaming channel. Frag it. So I'm just rendering that up right now, and yep. Want to know something else? That's my server now. That's my Minecraft server. That's what it's been reduced to. Alexa, our friggin' pen drive. Yep. <laughs> uh, it just makes it more portable that way, and if anybody wanted a copy, I can just give them a copy of it, and then they have their own copy of a server with a map on it, and they can dick with it and just have fun. So, frig it. No, I'm not sending that server out to anybody. No, no. People keep telling me that I need to build a Hackintosh. Problem with that is, it's highly illegal to build a Hackintosh. Probably saying, what are you talking about? In the actual end user license agreement for Mac OS, it states that you are only permitted to install this on a Macintosh computer. Therefore, installing it on a non-Macintosh computer makes it highly illegal. If I were to do that, no one would know about it, because I wouldn't tell anybody, because there's too many assholes out there who would love to report me and get me in trouble. I am, however, considering maybe later on, after the trip and everything's paid for, in purchase a Mac Mini, which I would probably sit after I clean it off on this desk. That monitor back there would be gone, and I would use another monitor for it. And I would install the Mac Mini there, clean off this keyboard tray, and it would be epic. I would have a Mac Mini behind me and my desktop in front of me. I could at that point, you know, be editing vlogs and uploading vlogs over here while playing video games and doing video game videos over here. That'd be pretty sweet. I do say so myself. Now I could always just pack up that Dell computer you see back there and get my MacBook out and set it up and use it to make and render the vlogs. But let me tell you something about the MacBook. It's fucking slow. Yeah, it's slower than molasses in the winter. Also, when you can get a pretty decent Mac Mini for like 600 bucks, why the frig wouldn't you just get a Mac Mini for 600 bucks? Makes sense. So I'm probably going to end up doing that in the future. Like I said, I got to pay off the trip first, and then I can save up and buy a Mac Mini. So by the time I buy one, actually they just refresh them. And they've been having, I, I heard about some sort of a video problem with them. Apparently the video cards are, are shitting out or something. I don't know. But apparently there's a problem with the video cards on them. So I'm just going to sit back and wait until I get notification from somebody that the problem's fixed before I make any moves. A lot of people want some Final Cut Pro and Final Cut Express tutorials for the tech channel and as it stands, the old white MacBook, it just can't do it. It's too friggin' old. So, yeah, right on. Alrighty people, well, it's a friggin' time of day when I gotta get my shit together and get out of here and go to work. Son of a bitch! Oh well, pays the bills. So, let's make a lunch and get the frig out of here. Get rid of that music in the background that YouTube loves when you play the copyright music. All right, let's get the frig out of here. I'm just trying to. I can always tell if I'm super late to go to work. If I'm super late, there'll be a bus behind me. Not the city bus, like a school bus, because the neighbor's kids get dropped off at 25 after, or I should say quarter two. What the hell am I talking about? Yeah, quarter to four. That's when their bus comes around. So I know when I see that bus is behind me, 
but I really got to haul ass to get to work. So Red Light Broadcasting got themselves a partnership with a company called Gung Ho. You guys ever heard of Gung Ho before? This stuff, I'm gonna put a link in the description if you wanna check it out, it's pretty friggin' hilarious. They got some awesome videos about uh, Gung Ho, and a lot of bigger YouTubers use it. And uh, it gives you ninja-like focus. Frickin' ninja-like focus. Are you serious? So I gotta try it, I, got, I gotta try it. So I'm gonna talk to uh, JP there and see about getting, getting some. And I'll try it on the vlogs and we'll see just what it does. Or for that matter, what it tastes like. As long as it has no peanuts, because I don't want to die. Not really. So, freaking ninja like focus. That, my friends, is hilarious. Maybe that's how ninjas are done. They're on the gung ho, but the uh, the promotional video for it is freaking hilarious. Like, I showed it to Rex the other night at the Hortons, and he laughed big time. He was like, that's hilarious. Like, buddy's like, I can run. I can run with watermelons on my hands. And he like, freaking all of a sudden there's watermelons on his hands and he's just giving her. Are, are we clear, bus? Can I go? All right. Yeah, it's freaking, it's, it's a priceless video. Yeah, I, I'm gonna give it a go, Forget. The link apparently gets you 50% off and free shipping, so I'll buy, I'll buy some and I'll try some and if the girlfriend wants to try some, she can try some, we can see how well it works. And uh, yeah, I'll vlog it, bring it. Might make for an interesting vlog, who knows? If it's like some sort of a hopped up energy drink, might just have uh, freaking dick anus. But he comes into the lane and he jumps over to the other lane. I was gonna cut across. Yeah, don't even look at me, so I'm gonna mouth off to you. Well, tomorrow it's supposed to be warm out. Right now it's not warm out. We're sitting at minus nine, feels like minus 17. It's the wind, I tell you, the wind. It makes it cold. That it doesn't help that it's super damp out too. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. You know, being all loud and obnoxious in the vlogs, it's kind of sort of what I do. Kind of sort of what I freaking do. Oh, I didn't bring my pen drive? Son of a bitch. Left her plugged into the wall. Oh well. But, uh, yeah, there's a lot of people asking for like Final, final Cut tutorials and stuff. Cat Piss said he was thinking about doing some, but, uh, not quite sure where that's going. Also, I'd like to figure out a way how to rig up some sort of a green screen to my chair. You're probably saying, why would you want a green screen rigged up to your chair? Well, just like a temporary green screen. So if I do like a face cam on a video game or on a tutorial, I can actually just have my head floating there in the bottom corner while I'm talking to you guys, telling you what I'm doing. And I think that would be freaking hilarious. Who doesn't like seeing a floating head sitting in the bottom corner of a tutorial? I know some of my best Northern Tech videos had that and people loved it. I was thinking about buying a sheet of bristle board and building a, a shitty bracket or something to just go over the back of my chair and sit up behind me kind of like a Count Dracula cloak. You know, the, the collar, the pop collar effect. And then I'd have a green screen behind me and then whatever camera I'm using, I can just zoom it in enough so that it picks me up in the green screen. And with these freaking 500s, they got that amazing light on them. That light is actually pretty damn good. I do say so myself. Watched the Stuff's video last night. He dropped an unboxing video of his camera. And uh, yeah, he's uh, really liking it. He had a Canon FS400. He bought like a month ago. Rocked that for a bit. And then saw the wicked deal that was coming out for Newegg. So now he's going to sell the FS400 and just rock the 500. And if you saw on Flyer Day, they have the 500M, which is the one that I got free. This is the 500 K that I'm using where you got a supply memory, but the 500M has 16 gigs built in. They got it on sale right now for 369 so there you go. If you have a future shop in your area and you like the quality of this camera and you want to get one for yourself, well, they're 80 bucks off right now. I don't know, I've always liked Panasonic's. The reason why the TM80 shit the bed so quick is, well, what can I say, that camera was was a demo, right? So it was touched by everybody, and when I got it, all 16 megs of memory on board were taken. Should have made a YouTube video with the content. Called it the demo reel or something, but I didn't. But I didn't do it, no, no. I didn't friggin' go, go. Frank six, nether things, other things. Bright, bright light, can't see a friggin' thing, cause the sun is so bright. Huh, so I'm gonna get a dimmer switch for that sun? Holy shit. Blinded by the light, the sun makes it hard to see what I drive. I didn't freaking run. That 
it's okay because I'm going to get to work on time. Well, here's hoping for another night like the rest of these weeks. All they shed, it's been slow and I like that kind. The slower the night, the better. Because if it's super busy and we don't have the manpower, that just means that I have to deal with a lot more bullshit because, you know, I'm prime. But anyway, people, I'm at work now, so I'm going to shut her down here and I'll talk to you guys when it's dark out at 5.30. All right, peace out. All right, you guys, it's 5.30 break time and I just frigged up big times. Probably sick. What are you talking about? You frigged up big times. Well, see, customer call didn't need her to set up on dial-up. And I wasn't sure if the area that we he was in had dial-up service. Went to go and try and dial out on our only computer with a modem, which is the one that they upgraded to Windows 8, and the modem wasn't supported. So I told the customer, I said, well, you know what, I'll call you back. I need to try and get the modem working on this piece of crap, and then we'll get it going. So sure enough, I go and install the modem, or at least try to. None of the drivers are taking. Finally, I go to the Connexent website and download the universal driver for it, stab it on the rig, think I got it going. Windows basically fails. It completely locks up to the point where it actually had a sideways sad face saying, a problem has occurred with your installation. Please wait while we restore it to a previous backup. And then it does this whole percentile thing and then it rebooted and it was not rebooting. So basically I just blew up Windows 8 on our test machine. So now I gotta do a friggin' reinstall Windows 8 tonight, son of a bitch, and get that going. So after doing much research, I found out the Connexent modem we have is not supported by Windows 8 or Windows 7 for that matter. That noise you hear behind me is the freaking train coming in, Jesus, and it's freaking louder than shit. So looks like I got some work ahead of me tonight, so I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Peace the frig out, son of a bitch, I hate Windows 8. Just saying. You guys ever wonder what the steel tanks, the whole gasoline look like that are in the ground? There you go, two great big reservoirs. Nice. Holy shit, people. She's a chilly one tonight. Well, it's midnight. Gonna go to the Hortons, meet up with Rex 4x4 and Cat Piss, have some coffees, and just go from there. So, it's rock and roll. Alrighty, people, well, I'm home. Didn't really film much at the Hortons because, um, there was nothing really to film. We just kind of hung out and looked at roller coasters on the iPad and just chilled out and just friggin' chilled out at the Hortons. But it's currently 2 o'clock in the morning, so I'm gonna shut her down here. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and if you didn't enjoy it, go ahead and hit the like button. Let me know you like the video and I like that. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to leave them in the comments section below. Tomorrow, people, this furry son of a bitch is coming off. Yeah, you friggin' know it is. So, until then, keep on vlogging. Yeah, that and yesterday, I just, I was super tired because I never had any coffee all day and it really hit me. So, that's what happened there. I was gonna take the video down and re-upload it with the proper voices, but then I said, you know what? Fuck it, I'm not pro. I'm not Hollywood, I don't give a shit. I made a mistake, fuck it, you know? I was like, <laughs> Break it. <laughs> oh, good stretch. Well, I'm out of freaking coffee. I wanted another coffee. Guess what else I forgot to do last night, for freak's sakes. Forgot to freaking put the big garbage can at the end of the road, as well as the freaking recyclables. Forgot yesterday was freaking Wednesday. Son of a bitch. Gonna have to put a iCal reminder on my phone to say, hey, arsehole, it's Wednesday. Put the trash out. Just so I remember to put the trash out. I'm gonna actually have it say, hey, arsehole, it's Wednesday. But, uh, I'm gonna make another one of these. No, I'm not gonna make another Donald Duck or another Mickey Mouse. Or, who's that? Is that Game Mickey? Oh, that's Minnie Mouse. And, uh, Mickey Mouse. 